Start thinking like a millionaire and achieve your goals. Hi, welcome to Lozone Channel. We talk about ways to stay motivated and inspired with our daily videos. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. What are some of the practices of a person who thinks like a millionaire? People who think like millionaires act very differently from people who don't. Politicians call these guys the rich, but the fact that they have money is secondary. What matters is their way of looking at the world and their way of thinking. They live by a set of principles that most people would call common sense. But we're so far away from it in our own daily lives, we don't recognize it when we see it. For example, they believe that every human being is valuable and important. So they do business with everyone around them as though that we're true, even strangers. They won't just sell to a person, they'll invest in them. They think that every idea has value, even ones that seem outwardly crazy. So they listen to everyone who wants to talk to them and then they ignore those whose idea isn't worth anything. They'll go out of their way to help anyone who asks for it, expecting nothing in return. They know better than anyone that true wealth is about more than just money. It's all about health, relationships, and loving what you do. Because of this, Everything they do is designed to improve those areas of their lives. They have a perspective that the world is full of opportunities and resources. And as a result, they never grumble or feel resentment toward the achievements of others. Before we delve into the mentalities of millionaires, you should be aware that seeking assistance is a terrific way to get started. Having access to an impartial third party, such as a mentor or coach, can assist you in determining the adjustments to your way of life that are necessary and direct you toward the development of the abilities that will move you forward on your journey. However, what must one do in order to have the mentality of a millionaire? The following is a list of 8 millionaire thinking habits that you should try to adopt. Your goals should be at the forefront of your mind. How can you possibly expect to accomplish what you set out to do if you don't even keep track of your progress? Your objectives could involve expanding your wealth, improving your health, moving in a certain professional direction, or pursuing one of your many other aspirations. Make it a routine to reflect on the things that you aspire to accomplish in the future. It takes approximately 66 days on average to create a habit. After you've thought about what you want to accomplish, write it down and store it in a place where you'll see it frequently. Even on the most trying of days, they will be there to remind you why you are putting in the effort that you are. Get used to the idea of learning new things all the time. People have a bad habit of ignoring the idea that there is perpetually something new to learn about the world around them. It is possible that you will need to modify your strategies in order to get the outcomes you desire. The ability to adjust to consistent change could lead you to realize that you established routines were not serving you well. Having a few fundamental skills can take you a long way in life. You should be pleased with the strides you've made and the new capabilities you've obtained. Make yourself known. The only way to succeed in life is to interact with other people. The importance of networking and the way you promote yourself cannot be overstated. It's important to be confident and passionate in your business pitch if you want to succeed. People who are fearless, fervent, and passionate about their goals and who speak up about them are honored and remembered. When you participate in networking events, 
you increase your chances of meeting people with similar interests and goals to your own. And you might even make a new friend. Keep calm and carry on. You shouldn't let the fact that you're putting in a lot of effort without seeing any results deter you from pursuing the things you want to achieve. Even if you feel like you're getting nowhere, you cannot make significant changes to your life in just one week. It's possible that you won't be able to complete your personal development goals in the allotted amount of time. It's important to remember that good things take time. And just because they don't happen right away doesn't mean they never will or that you should give up hope just because of the fact alone. Don't sweat the small stuff. In order to grow as a person and advance in your career, it is necessary to experience failure. You should look at your failure as opportunities to learn and advance instead of as problems to be avoided. Do not confuse careless mistakes, which you should aim to avoid, with failed plans, which can give you with valuable knowledge and insight that can help you try a different approach. You and your team have the potential to gain a lot of knowledge from mistakes, and you can use that knowledge to propel you and your team toward future success. Consider your blunders, learn from them, and move on with your life rather than dwelling on them constantly. Ensure that you receive enough sleep. Rest is absolutely necessary if you want to give your best performance. Even though we all have busy lives, it is important to make time for sleep because it is beneficial to both your mental and physical health. It can be tempting to stay up late and push ourselves too hard when we have a big list of things to do. But this approach is not sustainable in the long run. Working an extra hour may seem like a good idea at the moment, but in the long run, it will only serve to drain your energy and slow down your progress toward achieving your objectives. Working an extra hour may seem like a good idea at the time. If this happens again, make a conscious decision to sleep through it. If you wake up feeling refreshed, you'll have more energy and be better prepared to face the challenges of the day. Do not lose sight of the fact that you are growing. As you work toward accomplishing your goals, you will experience development on both a personal and a professional level. Along the path to success, you need to remind yourself of where you came from by maintaining a growth mindset. This will allow you to see how far you've come. If you have long-term objectives, you should make it a priority to regularly assess your level of achievement. The fulfillment that comes from doing a task like this will encourage you to take on further challenges in the future. It is helpful to break down your goals into smaller, more doable tasks when you are feeling discouraged. This can help you get back on track. Because of the amount of time and effort you've invested, you have every right to feel proud of yourself. If you give yourself some time to reflect on how far you've come, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment. Put an end to your self-justifications. Your development will be stifled and you will not be able to achieve your goals if you continue to make excuses. Do you think there might be something wrong with you? Make use of certain strategies that have already shown to be effective in the past. Concentrate on finding solutions to your problems rather than pointing the finger at other people or making excuses for your failures. Collaborate with a trusted mentor or coach who can assist you in determining what it is that is preventing you from succeeding or what is causing the issue. The most effective strategy for altering who you are is to concentrate on modifying your own behavior. Remember that giving in to your excuses is the worst thing you can do. Even if it means changing your plan, going on vacation, or asking for help. The worst thing you can do is give in to your excuses. 
Having a millionaire mindset isn't a matter of wealth. It's not about how much money you have, how much real estate you own, or how much financial freedom you have. We hope you were motivated by this video to find your millionaire attitude and achieve your financial goals. Check out our other videos that will be linked at the end of this video if you need more ideas. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button below as well as leave your opinions in the comments section below. I'll see you in the next one.